Hi Taurus, welcome to your Do They Miss You reading. This is a seven card reading having a look to see if your ex misses you, if someone you were once connected to in a really beautiful, strong way, um, or even if you had a short fling with them, if there's someone that you were connected to um, in whichever way you were connected, if they're missing you, if they're thinking about you. Now this could be one person, this could be several different people. Um, I will mention whatever comes up in the cards uh, with the cards energy. Um, I hope this reading is insightful. I hope it gives you some sort of insight or clarity into how they're feeling or may be feeling um, and if the two of you could potentially be reconciling um, or reaching out to each other in the future. Um, for those after private readings, all the information you require is below in the show more section. Otherwise, let's get straight into it, Taurus, and see um, who's missing you, who's thinking about you, who's wanting to reach out, um, Taurus, <clears throat> do they miss you? Okay, you have the Eight of Cups, possibly a water sign here, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio who is thinking about you. I think with the Eight of Cups, this is um, someone that's searching for something deeper. I think someone that you were connected with um, wanted something more from you. They wanted a deeper connection and maybe you just couldn't give it to them at the time. But the Eight of Cups is, is searching. It's going on a quest. I feel like someone might even be searching for you, Taurus trying to look you up, trying to search you up, um, trying to see the connection that you have now with the person that you're coupled up with. Um, I almost feel like I'm getting this feeling of this person is either trying to explore your new relationship or marriage or connection. I feel like they're wondering why you're sharing something, for those that are coupled up, why you're sharing something so deep with this new person and not them. So I almost feel like this person is searching, they're on a search, whether it's a, an emotional search for something deeper within themselves, but I also feel like this person this person is searching for you. I feel like they currently can't find anyone that's quite like you, um, is what I'm seeing here. I also feel like this person is searching for feelings. Um, I feel like they're still reconciling with your breakup or your the ending of your connection. I feel like they're still asking themselves how they feel about what you had. I almost feel like this person is trying to reconcile with how they think about you and how they think about the relationships. Um, and they're trying to dig deep is what I'm understanding with the eight, eight of cups. Okay, the Knight of Swords, this could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius who's missing you as well. The Knight of Swords, I feel like this person is or acted very, very um, impulsively um, without much forethought, without much wisdom. And I'm beginning to think that they're actually regretting what they said or how they acted because as a result, they're still reconciling with their emotions. So I'm not sure if maybe you broke it off really quickly or maybe you thought you know this wasn't right for me and you communicated this to them but with the knight of swords i feel as though there's a message of impulsive so someone was impulsive um throughout the relationship maybe someone wanted things to develop really quickly maybe it was an air sign maybe it was a water sign and they wanted things to develop in a really really swift manner as a result i feel like with the knight of swords here it's almost left a bit of taste in their throat because I feel like there could even be some sort of, they're searching for meaning. They're searching for meaning as to why things happened or why they didn't. So I'm not sure if you were very brief or they were very brief, but I feel as though with the Knight of Swords, they're trying to get down to the bottom of something. I almost feel like this person needs closure, Taurus. Um, you know, they're trying to slice away um, all the negativity. They're trying to cut through um all the entanglements, all the vines, and they're trying to get to the Holy Grail here because I don't think they've reconciled with their own thoughts. I don't think it's even registered to them, this ending. I think they're very much still preoccupied, still um, thinking about how things ended and why they did. Um, I also feel like for some of you, you may be hearing from this person very, very soon. Um, they definitely have something to say or they want closure um, or they want to hear your response in, so in some sort of way here. Okay, the King of Cups, strong water sign actually that's here, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. King of Cups, this person is definitely missing you. Emotionally, you did something for them. You filled some sort of void. 
Um, you were their anchor, you were their rock, you were their voice of reason, and I feel like they're missing this. For some, I feel like it's someone that's regretting ending things with you because they're finally realizing their emotions here. And if this is anything to do, if this is all the one person, I feel as though there's a, there's a path that they're going on um, and they're actually realizing the connection that you had together um, with the King of Cups. It's also intuitive energy. I feel like someone is dreaming about you, um, thinking about you, but I almost feel like the universe is sending them signs and these signs are reminding them of you. I'm not sure if it's like you had a favorite song or you had a favorite place to eat or, um, you know, your numbers, your date of birth numbers or your house numbers or your street even, but something that is around you, Taurus, is coming up for them. And every time it comes up for them, it, it like it jabs at them a little bit because it, it's actually quite painful um, what they're going through. Um, and I think it's intense, you know, they're going from the Eight of Cups to the King of Cups. So I almost feel like distance is making them feel more emotionally drawn to you, um, is what I'm seeing here. I also feel like for some, I feel like if this is an X, maybe there was a water sign that came along or an air sign that came along to this person and took them away from you um, as well, unfairly and really quickly. Okay, the strength card, fire sign, in particular a Leo, but it could be an Aries or Sagittarius here. Someone's trying to stay strong or someone's trying to muster the strength. Um, I feel like they're trying to be resilient and they're trying to move on without you and I feel there's a bit of ego that's coming into play here. So I almost feel for some of you this person, and maybe if it is a Leo, a Leo they are trying to show you that they can win this. So I almost feel like, not that it's immaturity, I mean, we can't help sometimes when we are a little bit bitter about an ex or about a previous lover. Um, you know, the strength card here is that we, we, we want to appear that we're strong. I do think there's a bit of fragility coming in around them, but I, but I do also think for the most part they're trying to be strong or they're trying to show you that they're capable of being strong and moving on, that they're stronger without you. And I almost feel like someone is trying to distract themselves with other things, other priorities, work, personal hobbies, business, um, friends, family. They're trying to surround themselves. And, and I do, I think they have a lot of encouragement and support behind them. Um, but with the strength card, I feel like this is someone, if you have broken up with them, they've had a bit of a poker face or they haven't opened up completely about their feelings um, or even communicated this to you, Taurus. But I guess for some of you, you now know that this person on the inside is actually quite delicate and fragile, but outwardly is appearing very nonchalant about things, is actually almost appearing like that it's very blasé that the breakup just happened or the, the, the dissolving of the union just happened and they're okay with it. But I think things are getting deep for them and I think it's like almost, it's not so much how it happened then and there, the aftermath is actually much worse for them, um, is what I'm seeing here. Okay, the Ace of Wands, more fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo here. I feel like someone is beating around the bush. They actually want a second chance with you, and I think it is a fire sign. They're wanting a second chance with you, but they want to do it in a very subtle manner so that if they do come back maybe this year maybe the next few weeks maybe the next few months they're going to be very subtle um they're going to play it cool they're not going to make their intentions completely obvious i think they're keeping their cards close to their chest and they're not going to reveal too much to you but that goes without saying that i really really think that they they actually have more feelings for you now when you've um gone your separate ways rather than when you were together i feel like they're watching who's around you you know the foxes are very clever um they can be a little bit tricky they can be a little bit conniving so i feel like there possibly could be some sort of manipulation that's coming in from this person around you um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign it can be any sign really but i think they're trying to guard you or they're even sorry they're even trying to make um you feel jealous in a way. Could be a bit of jealousy here. I think the things that they're doing are trying to get your attention here. 
um, is what I'm seeing. But Ace of Wands, this person either wants a second chance with you, wants a new chance with you, or with the Ace of Wands, they have a new relationship that's blossoming for them. Um, and it could be with a fire sign. Justice could be a Libra here, karma. They're receiving their karma in some sort of way, um, Taurus, and it's it's actually occurring to them with the justice card. They want balance and they want harmony. I think I think they want to get back in touch with you or they want balance. Could be closure. Um, could be searching for meaning with the justice card. I feel like they want justice. They deserve it's either you're feeling you want justice or they are feeling they want justice or they deserve justice. And this could be entitlement. Um, maybe they feel really entitled, um, but it could be a Libra or it's someone that might be around you and um, is learning lessons. And again, I point to this. It's the it's the aftermath um, that they're really suffering um, and they're really actually analyzing the situation and the connection you had, be it two weeks, two months, two years, 20 years marriage or not, um, relationship or not, you know, they're actually realizing the reasons why they cross paths with you. As I said, searching for meaning, searching for something deeper, digging deep, extracting these lessons. Um, and this is all about karmi, uh, karmic lessons, karma, the energies, self-realization, fairness, wanting equality, um, I think you've taught them something about balance, moderation, or equality, and you are a very, um, a very quite a nurturing yet practical soul. So I feel like you've taught them a lot, whether you're aware of it or not, um, consciously or uh, subconsciously. They've learned a lot from you. You know, it could be someone that's needing to point the blame to, you know, justice. To finally give a resolution or something like this okay queen of cups has come up as well so more water energy cancer pisces or scorpio here again that the the notion of searching for something deeper they're missing the spiritual connection that you have i definitely feel there's feelings still there active feelings you can see that she's she's active she's one with the water she's one with the earth um and you know she's stepping on stone so i feel like stepping stones um I feel like you're, for some of you, I feel like the relationship you had with this person is a stepping stone for your next major relationship or for them. So I feel like with in conjunction with the justice card, I feel in some regard you have prepared them for something or likewise, vice versa, they have prepared you for something. It's all about stepping stones. Um, but, you know, I really feel there's still strong emotion there um, spiritually. And again, this intuitive ability of dreams, premonitions, visualizations, signs, symbols or synchronicities that are actually inundating them and that are actually, it's almost like they can't get their mind off you because they're busy thinking about um, you, you, the connection and how you made them feel emotionally. I will leave it at that, however, Taurus. I hope this has been uh, insightful for you. Um, if you enjoy this video, please feel free to give me a like. I really would appreciate that. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me.